Tom's expedition log, 1st of March 1901. We've been on the island little more than the hour and I've seen a dozen species of bird I am certain have never been recorded. <sighs> I'm afraid my sketches show these beautiful creatures little justice. I love the little details like that, like you see the painting in the background, when the lights are turned off, it's just a painting of a landscape, but when I turn the lights on, there's a figure in it. Lots of details like that throughout the game, so uh, keep your eyes peeled. Ah, uh, that's one little thing that, a little inconvenience that I didn't like about the game is that you cannot turn your, your uh, helmet lights on or off while you are in motion. That's... I never liked that. Maybe it's just me, but it's a helmet light. You, could, you should be able to turn it off or on while you are jumping or climbing a ladder, right? That's the one flaw of the game, in my opinion. But, you know, that's it. This way.
Tom's Expedition Log, 1st of May 1901, we discovered these strange cubes on the island. These cubes that they found on the island carved out of stone, but they weigh far less than they should, and they are slightly warm to touch. One of the crew said he saw one flying a few feet above the ground. It's not something we usually believe, and yet the cubes seem to give off a strange sort of energy. let me sketch her, but she seemed to be distracted. Yeah, bet.
Oh, it's depending on the lights. I didn't remember that. That's pretty spooky. Beatrice's diary, 21st of May 1901. I feel scared. The people on this boat are behaving strangely. They look unwell. I hope it's merely seasickness. Ha <laughs> ha! Bitch! Expressing my concern to the professor, he offered me a visit to the Labour Cargo Hall to see some of what is being brought to England. Thought it might ease my nerves. He was right. The air in the hall is unusual. Cold, but it's not unpleasant. I felt my head clear. The way back up to the deck seemed different than before. Like something changed. Oh, was there a ladder? There was a ladder, right? Yeah. Barrier. Lights does nothing. So that's the way then. Oh, there's a ball. A glowing orb. Damn, that's spooky as shit. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Pop it like a balloon. Right on. Oh shit, I fell. It's a sink. I guess the artist of the game left that there in case people were wondering what this jumbled mess of pixels is. It's kind of difficult to do pixel art right. A lot of people do it wrong. A lot of game designers try to look retro, but they just end up making their games look like shit. This is an exception, but it's not as good as some I've seen recently. It's a bit too minimalistic in my opinion. They took it a little bit too far. It's still but it's fine. still fine. I mean, it looks gorgeous. But, but sometimes, sometimes it's hard to see what you're doing. So, never, sacrifice, never sacrifice gameplay to aesthetics. <laughs> 